Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on tree diagrams. This is tree diagrams one, replacement, and is the first of four videos on tree diagrams. Please make sure you watch them all. So, let's begin. A bag contains three red coins and two blue coins. I take a coin, check the colour, and then put it back in the bag. I then take another coin. What is the probability both coins I choose are the same colour? So the first thing we need to notice about this question is that after he takes the first coin, he puts it back in the bag. This means that it's a replacement question. Now these are slightly easier questions because it means the bag has always got the same number of coins in. So let's begin with our first choice. At first, we could pick a red coin or we could pick a blue coin. So we start our tree diagram with the first arrows with R and B for red and blue. So the R and B go at the end of the branches. We need to put the probabilities on the branches. So let's think about our bag. Our bag has got three red coins and it's got two blue coins. So the probability of picking a red coin, well, there's three reds out of five coins altogether. So the probability of picking a blue coin, which goes down here, would be two out of five because there's two blue coins and there's five altogether. So this is the first pick. So this is the first time we've picked something. Then we put it back into the bag. So we're going to make another pick now. So we complete our tree diagram with the second set of arrows. Red and blue goes on the end of all the arrows. And we work out the probabilities again. Well, this is an easy question because because we've put it back in the bag, the probability of a red is still 3 out of 5, and the probability of a blue is still 2 out of 5. And on the bottom, we have a red, which is 3 out of 5, and on the very bottom, another blue, which is 2 out of 5. So basically, with a replacement question, all of the probabilities stay the same. Right, what we do now on the end of each branch is we write what it could be. So this top one here, well, to get there, starting at the beginning here, we go along there, red, and then we pick another red. So this first one is the probability that I pick two reds, red, red. Second one, we go along to red and then down to blue. So this would be red, then blue. Now we're on to the bottom half. We pick a blue first, then we're up to a red. So this would be blue, red. And then the very bottom one would be picking a blue and then another blue. So I'm writing on what the choices are there. Then we need to work out the probabilities of all of these things. Well, to work out the probabilities, all we do is we take the fractions and the first one, red, red, we multiply them together. 3 out of 5 and 3 out of 5. Well, the way we multiply these together, 3 out of 5 times 3 out of 5, is we times together the tops and times together the bottoms. So the answer to that would be 9 out of 25. For the second one, we're doing 3 out of 5 multiplied by this time the blue, which is 2 out of 5. This gives us 6 out of 25. The next one, going down this time, we've got 2 out of 5 first, blue. So it's 2 out of 5 times this 3 out of 5 here. So times the tops, times the bottoms, you're going to get 6 out of 25. And the bottom one, well, we're doing 2 out of 5 times 2 out of 5. So it's 2 out of 5 times 2 out of 5. This will give me times the tops 4, times the bottoms 25. So we've worked out all of the probabilities of all of the things happening. Now we just need to read the question. It says, what is the probability both coins I choose are the same color? So that would be red, red. That one would be the same color. So it would be 9 out of 25. And also, blue, blue at the bottom, that would be the same color. So we have 9 out of 25 and 4 out of 25. So we've got to add these two fractions together. And when we add the fractions, 25 stays on the bottom because it's the same, and 9 add 4 on the top will give us 13. 
So the probability I pick two of the same color is 13 out of 25. We have to make sure we read the question carefully and do what it asks us for. So here it was two of the same color. So it was red, red and blue, blue. Right, so we've gone through an example of a replacement question. Remember, replacement means after the first choice, you put it back in the bag. Here are a few practice questions for you to have a go at. When you finish these, please make sure you have a go at the non-replacement tree diagram questions. Thank you very much.